All right, I'm working on the king quad again. Well, just now getting started, really, other than getting, figuring out that the engine seems to run fine other than the fuel pump. But anyway, I thought just for giggles, I would take the the little cover off the fuel pump that, and the diaphragm. And basically, it's, there's nothing there. It's just a cover in the diaphragm, and it's got room room for a little airspace in there but they had this on the machine like that and I've never had one of these apart before so I didn't think much about it um, I was going to buy one but I kind of wanted to take this one apart first and just look at it <clears throat> and uh, I like to fix things if I can especially if it saves a little money but uh, anyway, you can see there's a ridge that runs up and down right here. And that separates this side from this side when you put the cover on. The problem is there's a ridge in this cover that has to butt up against it and, and seal off. You can see the shiny spot there where it's, it's supposed to sit and they had it this way which allows hopefully you can see a little bit of that but it allows for a gap here and a gap here it, it lets it cross sides which doesn't do any good won't pump fuel and so basically right now i'm going to drain some of the fuel back out of it to get the gas lower than the carburetor and then i'm going to uh, put this back on the right orientation with this straight up and down with this and I don't know exactly how this little fuel pump works it's just vacuum operated but it does have a little check valve there and to my understanding the fuel should come in this way and fill in here and then as it sucks it should pull this check valve back and allow fuel into this side I'm assuming I guess there's a spring right there, best I can tell. But anyway, there's a... I got a service manual on a CD with this four-wheeler. Um, the guy had bought it because he was going to try to fix it, but it says the fuel pump is not serviceable, so I'm assuming you probably can't buy any parts for it. But I don't know why it was taken apart. And uh, so for right now, I I'm thinking... It may be good because it doesn't look bad inside, so I'm going to actually clock it back to the position it's supposed to be in. Hook the fuel lines back up how they're supposed to be. Drain some gas out so I know it's it's having to suck. It can't just gravity feed. And then we'll see if she runs. So try to keep y'all updated whenever I figure something out. All right, I'm, I've got the line from the fuel pump to the carburetor hooked back up how it's supposed to be. And... Uh, this is the line that goes from the pit cock, and it's supposed to go over here to the fuel pump, but I'm gonna drain some gas out of it. But one thing I wanted to point out on these, the quad runner and the king quad, the, the old uh, models like these, um, I've got the pit cock in the on position. Hopefully you can see that. But anyway, there's no fuel coming out. And the reason for that is because this line right here is a vacuum line. And the only way that petcock releases fuel in the on or reserve position is if you actually have the engine running because it needs vacuum to operate a diaphragm in there to allow fuel to flow. But, let's see if I can get it where I can do this. Okay, see there's no fuel coming out. But there's a prime position, the PRI right there. Hopefully you can see that. And basically, that's for when um, <clears throat> the fuel system has been drained, like the carburetor bowl or something like that, and the engine won't, it doesn't have any fuel left in there to start, initially start on. Because once the engine starts, it starts pumping fuel and it's no problem again. But if you run everything totally out, or if you're out on the trail and this line gets knocked off or something like that, or you get a hole in it, um, basically your petcock won't work. So 
what you can do is turn it on prime and I'm going to turn it over on prime and now you see we got fuel running out right there so it's not that big of a deal but it is something that could be confusing for somebody when they see that it says on and then you've also got a prime position but that's what the prime's for mainly is if you have to pull the carburetor or something like that and the fuel bowl's empty you can uh, prime it back up like that but keep in mind if you turn it on prime and the fuel tank is low you're still not going to get fuel past your fuel pump so um, anyway it, it can still be a little bit of a process but but that's just to allow normal fuel flow without the four-wheeler having to run so anyway we'll get some fuel drained out get everything hooked back up and then try to start it